iTunes offers you some handy features for working with your media. In iTunes, you can purchase and download songs, entire albums, and much more. You can also copy these items from other sources, including audio CDs. After you store the content in your iTunes library, you can play it on your computer and transfer it to your iPod. You don't have to get all your music or other media from the iTunes store. You can transfer songs from a CD to your computer by a process known as ripping. Ripping an entire CD's worth of songs is quick and easy. You can add video files to your iTunes library, such as TV shows and feature-length movies. You can get the content by buying it from the iTunes store or by downloading standard video files in the MPEG-4 format from other internet sources. After you get all that media and dump it into iTunes, you may have a bit of an organizational challenge on your hands. But don't worry iTunes gives you the power to organize content into playlists. You can make up playlists of songs, albums, podcasts, or videos. iTunes offers an equalizer with settings for all kinds of music and listening environments, and it gives you the ability to customize and save your own personalized settings. The Mac and Windows versions of iTunes are both free, and they're virtually identical, except that the dialogues look a bit different. As Apple continues to improve iTunes, the company releases upgrades to both versions at the same time. You can run iTunes anytime, with or without an iPod, to build and manage your library of music and other media. When you launch iTunes, your library appears. Click the column headings to sort your library by artist, album title, or any of the other view options iTunes offers many ways for you to manage all the content in your library, including the sections in the source pane, as well as controls for organizing, importing, and playing content. The source pane, which is handily divided into four sections, shows you the source of the content you're currently looking at in the list pane. The library section includes your music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, audiobooks, radio, and ringtones. The Store section includes the iTunes Store and your purchased items. The Devices section includes any iPods you synchronize with iTunes. The Playlists section in the Source pane includes Party Shuffle and your playlists. The Mac and Windows versions of iTunes both offer the same viewing options, including the Cover Flow. Here's the iTunes window on a Mac with the Cover Flow open. The Cover Flow lets you flip through your cover art to choose songs. You can use the slider to move swiftly through your library, or you can click to the right or left of the cover in the foreground to move forward or backward in your library. iTunes also has a list pane. Depending on the source that's selected, the list pane displays different information. You might see a list of the content in your library, the content available in the iTunes store, the tracks of a music CD, or the entire library on your iPod. You also have the View buttons at your disposal. The three buttons in the upper right corner change your view of the pane. You can show items in a list, items in a scalable grid, or displayed with the cover browser. You can look at the status pane for info on whatever's playing. When a song is playing, the artist's name, title if known, and the elapsed time show up here. Did you forget where you put a particular song? Just type a part of its title in the search field and search your library for it. You can also use the search field to peruse a playlist or to look through the iTunes store. Use the three simple player buttons, forward, play, and back, to control the playback of content in iTunes. Use the playlist buttons, add, shuffle, and repeat, to add playlists and shuffle or repeat playback. You can change the volume level by dragging the volume slider to the right to increase the volume, or to the left to decrease it. Use the Show or Hide Artwork button to display or hide album covers and other graphics. Click the Genius button to turn this handy feature on or off. The neat thing about Genius is that it automatically recommends songs from your library or the music store to complement your current selections. Clicking the Eject button ejects a CD or an iPod. An ejected CD actually pops out of some computers, but an iPod is a hard drive, and ejecting simply removes the drive from the system so that you can disconnect the iPod safely. 
If you don't like the way iTunes looks, you can do something about it. For instance, if you don't like the width of the source pane, you can adjust it by dragging the vertical bar between panes. You can also adjust the height of the list and cover flow panes by dragging the small dot on the horizontal bar between them.